The following is an audio excerpt from Wolves of Croton, The Untold Story of Milo, by John Abdo. Anatomical Phalanx The whole is greater than the sum of its parts. Aristotle There are varying expressions which communicate principal lessons, Philostratus begins an instruction, and on the receiving end, there are varying ways of interpreting them. As your coach, I will repeat and repeat, and repeat, these instructions. Each time, I may modify the expressions to add vernacular and emotional intensities. Rearranged expressions will intentionally elucidate the full memorandums so as to expound upon the complexity and receptivity of the vacillating human psychobiological apparatus until you at last hone in on the exact principle. Here is one explanation regarding your muscular structures. You will interpret as your current intellectual faculties allow you to comprehend. Realize, however, those faculties, like your tangible anatomical structures, will possess exponentially greater capacities to interpret, mature, and then set into action. Although they appear as single mass entities, your muscles are anatomical phalanxes. As confirmed inside Caliphon's laboratory and the Pythagorean school of wisdom, each structure, being comprised of numerous individual bodies, in and of itself possesses varying levels of attrition, strength, stamina, speed, tolerances to stress, thresholds to pain, and cohesiveness. In comparison, some fibers are weaker, some stronger, others slower, others faster. Some have greater capacity to manage short burst exertions, while others are primed to endure stress for extended durations. When fibrillar members fail to govern their burdens, the stronger are forced to disseminate extra tensions, thwarting, to varying degrees, the functionality of that whole of the mass. Therefore, conditioning your muscles will address the individual components of each anatomical structure. Over time, by means of progressive adaptations, the numerical composition of each mass will unify. The weaker become stronger, the slower, faster. The enduring become more explosive, while the short burst fibers persevere. It matters not the size of the phalanx that proves superiority. Rather, it is the harmony between its composite aggregate. Spartans have proven this many times. With numerically inferior legions, but through cunning execution, their phalanxes discombobulate forces of superior numbers, then proceed to subjugate their opposition. Just as the individual blocks of the pyramid contribute to its indestructible structure, so do all anatomical members, acting in unison both physically and psychologically, become a much greater power, one which cannot be mathematically measured in terms of its numerical organization. If you are enjoying this content, please like, follow, share, and subscribe, and I'll continue to bring you more fascinating information on Milo of Croton and other great mythological and mortal figures from antiquity. I'm John Abdo, thanking you for watching. Stay strong and healthy, and perhaps one day, thousands of years from now, people then will be remembering your name as well.